This is the first of its kind. What do we have here? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a product sitting right here. That's the first of its kind. And it's one of those products where you start thinking about it and you're like, why didn't anyone else think of this? Now hear me out for one second. We've all seen these batteries like this that connect to the back of your phone, like your iPhone or your Android phone. It's either via MagSafe or a magnet. These are pretty common. In fact, Apple just came out with one just maybe last week right over here called the iPhone Air MagSafe battery, only working on the iPhone Air for 99 bucks. Why did Apple do that? I have no idea. Why is it only in the air? We have no idea. But this one will work on all of them, and it has a whole bunch of extra features built into it. Now imagine a battery like I just mentioned before, but it actually has a second function. It's got a fully running SSD built inside of it over here, so you can go ahead and pull files from this thing, you can store files on it, and it charges your phone via that magnet. Think about that for a second. It's kind of game-changing. All right, here we go. Introducing, and I'll show you some close-ups of the box. This is the MoveSpeed Power Disk Magnetic Portable SSD Data and Charging 2-in-1. Model number is MSPD10, and this is the box you want to look for. Now, before I get into all the, the features and why this is so special, a couple different things here. Full disclosure, I always want to do that. This product was sent to me directly by MoveSpeed, and I'm doing just a product showcase here. I'm going to do an initial product showcase to make sure you know it's available. I'm not doing a full review. I have not had this long enough to test it fully to know if it's going to last forever and things like that. So I'm just doing a product showcase. I'll have a link in the description where you can get a ton more information and then do your own research on it and see if you like it. All right, so they're saying this is the first two-in-one portable SSD and power bank, all right? And I think it actually is. I've never seen one before. This is also going to be compatible with your iPhone, your Android phone. It's going to be compatible with your MacBook, your Windows laptop as well. Um, it's not even Xbox and PlayStation, and it even mentions iPads as well. This will be good for an iPad as well. I mean, the charging may not give you a full charge there, but on the phones, this is going to give you at least a full charge in most cases, and I think it's just a really cool product. So we're going to get into more of the details here, and then I'm going to tell you exactly how I use it and why I think it's pretty cool. Okay, really quickly, what's in the box? You do get the product, obviously, see the little charger and, and SSD, but you also get a cable that comes with it and some instructions. Now, the cable is a little kind of, it's not misleading, but you have to understand what this does. Obviously, you can charge your device via, you know, wirelessly. You just plug this in via the magnet, not even plug it in, just put it on your device via the magnet. It should charge wirelessly. But you can also charge a little bit faster with the cable. But once you attach the cable into any device, it also acts as a full SSD. And this is where it becomes a lot different than other devices, because that SSD is built into the exact same structure as the battery, and I haven't seen that before. Okay, so on their website, what they say is they say this is the first dual-role USB-C controller basically implemented on this thing, and what that means is it's got a USB-C connection here, and the cable's USB-C, so it's dual-role, meaning it can do both battery charging and the SSD at the same time, like we talked about a couple times here already, but supposedly that's the first time it can do it. All right, now let's actually talk about the SSD, first of all. So the SSD comes in, it comes in 512 gigabytes, it comes in one terabyte, it comes in two terabytes, it comes in four terabytes. So depending on your needs there, you can get up to four extra terabytes of storage that can connect directly into your phone, or you can use it standalone like with a MacBook or something like that if you really want to, or an iPad. But it gives you a lot of options. Again, I'll have a link in the description. Do your own research. They have some early bird specials now, which may go away, so check it out. Now, how is the SSD? So from my testing and from what they're telling me, it holds really true. They're saying around 900 to 1,000 megabytes per second on this SSD. So it's not really a kind of a dumbed down, you know, all flash type thing where it doesn't work really well. In fact, what do they say here? They say the SSD is full TLC flash memory with LDPC error correction as well. So for all it's worth, but it is quality. And I did some initial testing on it as well using Blackmagic and things like that. And I was getting those numbers right there. So overall, it's a really fast quality drive in here. And and, uh, you know, you can't complain with the speed of the drive. Okay, so now the battery. The battery is actually 5,000 milliamps. So if you have a phone like an iPhone, for example, let's say it's 4,500 milliamps, you're going to get a little bit over a charge with this. If you're using something like an iPad or something like that, that's going to be a little bit bigger than that, you may get a half a charge or three-fourths of a charge, but it's definitely going to top you off. But it's also going to have, you know, obviously the SSD capability, and we're going to show you exactly why you'd want that in a second here. So I think it's just overall such a cool product because you just, why haven't anyone, why hasn't anyone ever thought of this before or made it? And uh, they actually did it from a company called Move speed. 
And then the chassis of this thing, you can see how shiny it is here. I'll show you some close-ups. It's made out of ABS and aluminum alloy as well. And it says it's 170 grams, or what does that come out to? About 5.9 ounces. So it's not terribly huge. In fact, you can slip it right in your pocket if you're not using it. I'll show you. And uh, it fits in there really well. Obviously, you know, you need a little bit of size in here to get some batteries so you can actually, you know, work on stuff and in various projects and stuff. But overall, I think it's a really good size. They kept the size down. Okay, let's get into why this is so cool, because this is really the important thing here. So let's just say for starters, you want to go out and film something, and you want to do it on your iPhone. You actually want to shoot in Apple ProRes 4K, 120 frames per second. You can do that very, very you know, easily with this thing, and there's going to be no stuttering. It can handle it perfectly with the SSD drive built into it. But not only that, as you're kind of walking around the park and stuff like that, not only can it give you the extra storage to store all your files, it gives you more continuous shoot times, but it's also going to give you longer battery life as well, so you can take longer videos. So let me go ahead and pull up a chart here and show you kind of some of the differences. Okay, this chart's really important here if you look at it. So here's your iPhone with 256 gigs of storage. If you actually have that much storage in your phone, you can shoot ProRes 4K 30 frames per second, only 44 minutes of it. But when you add the power disk to it, you can go ahead and shoot with one terabyte of space. Another, you know, you can go up to 176 minutes of shooting. Two terabytes is 352 minutes. And then power disk with the four terabyte options up to 704 minutes. Look at that. And then you can go up to higher res up here as well. But you can get a lot more storage in here. You can save a lot more files with this disk connected to your phone obviously and then not only does it help with that but over here longer shooting times it's you know if you have your iPhone only you're going to get under 150 minutes for sure but if you have the, the iPhone and the power disc with that 5,000 milliamp battery over 240 minutes of shooting time so it's going to basically over double your time of actually being able to shoot so it's a double whammy here it helps you both ways and then the beauty of this thing is when you're done with everything and you're done shooting and everything, you can go ahead and just take this, use the cable, hook it directly into your Mac. I'm, I'm showing you connect it to my M2 MacBook Air, and you can offload all the files at that thousand megabytes per second. Think about that for a second. So not only can you shoot on the phone, it stores it on the phone, it has the battery on the phone, you just unhook it and stick it into your MacBook over here. It'll work with obviously the Samsung phones, like we said, all of Android phones as well, and you can move your files around really easily. So if you're shooting, you can actually go ahead and just move them really quickly to your computer, and it looks really fast. All right, fair question. Maybe you don't shoot a lot of video on your phone. How is this going to help you if you don't do that? A lot of different ways. The way I'm going to actually use it the most, all right? So what I do is I travel out to Europe a lot of times. I go to Germany quite a bit. And when I do that, I go on the plane and I bring my phone with me. I bring a lot of content to watch or, or music to listen to. So not only can I actually plug this in in the plane over here and it's full airline, you know, it's acceptable as far as the size of it. They'll, they'll accept it just fine as long as you carry it on. But this is going to give me not only a battery then, but it's going to give me even the base level up to 512 gigabytes all the way up to 4 terabytes of external storage. So on the plane, you can put all your content on this thing, all your movies and everything like that, and you can sit there and watch everything you want to do during that 8 or 9 hour plane ride. But then when you get off the plane, here's the kicker. Your phone won't be dead like most phones are. You won't get to the hotel with zero and then go out somewhere with no phone. It'll be fully charged because it's going to be on that battery. So you might use the battery amount, but you're still going to have a full charger at least close to it at the end of that trip, right? So overall, I think it's just a great idea for people that travel and things like that. It's incredible. And then think about this as another thing, maybe another option. Even if you just go to the coffee shop or something and you don't like to carry multiple devices, maybe when you go to the coffee shop, you have a phone or something and you're working all day, you have to bring a battery and maybe you know not only for your phone but maybe for your iPod, iPad as well maybe you need a battery for that this will connect into it and give your iPad some more juice but at the same time maybe you need to have files on an SSD you don't want to bring all those devices all you got to do is bring this so even if you don't use a you know combined you can use this for your phone for the power unplug it plug it back into you know your iPad or your MacBook move files on and move files off. So it's really a two-in-one device overall, even if you just don't use it for filming. So it's got a lot of uses that you don't think about. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. I post in the comments if you can think of any other uses for this thing. And again, this is only, it's not a full review. I'm just doing a product showcase. I'm going to have a link in the description. You can go ahead and decide if you want to support them or if you want to wait, you know, wait for the product to officially come out. And, and it's coming out, basically, you can go ahead and pre-order for some good, good pricing on it for sure. The pricing might go up a little bit later. But overall, it's up to you. Do your own research. I just wanted to introduce it because I love innovative products. That's kind of what my channel is all about, is just finding, you know, products from companies that you may have not heard of before, right? They're maybe not as big as Apple. Apple or the Samsungs, but they're making these kind of products that are really cool. Obviously, you know, who knows? The big companies usually copy because they don't, they just don't come up with them themselves for some reason or another. Um, overall on this thing, again, the heat has been really good on it as well, so it hasn't gotten overheated or anything like that. And uh, I have had no complaints with it, but I've only had it a short time. So long story short, we'll talk to everybody in the next video. I hope you guys like these kind of products that you've probably never heard of before. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.